Hi, today I'm going to show you how to play the iPlay CG, a music instrument for the iPhone and iPod Touch, developed by W Code. So there are 20 keys on the keyboard, four columns, and five notes on each column. I designed it to have five uh, notes on each column so I can make a chord easily. Okay. There are three buttons up here. They allow you to switch between the scales. So I've set up the first one to be a Sakura Japan scale. Of course you can change it. So to switch to a scale, double tap it. So now we're in the Japanese scale. Double tap this one, and we're in the harmonic minor scale. sad. And the last one is the major scale. And we're, we'll be focusing on this scale because most songs are based on this scale. It's the Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do scale. So, okay. So to make a chord, it's very easy. Just remember the pattern. One, three, five. One, three, five. Okay, so G major scale will give you the following seven chords. A major chord, two minor chords, two major chords, a minor chord, and a very rare minor slash five chord. Okay, so memorize that. A major chord, Two minors, two majors, a minor, and a minor slash five. Okay, so we're starting with the G. Skip one, skip another one, one, three, five. So the pattern is one, three, five. Skip the second and fourth note, one, three, five, and you have yourself a G major chord. It has a G and a B and a D. As long as you have those three notes, you have a G major chord. So you can tap it any way you want. It's still a G major chord. So even this. G major chord. So it's very easy because you don't move your hands so much. You can make a chord very easily. Okay, just practice how to make all the patterns. And you should be able to play the G chord in different and various positions and it'll give you a different feeling so the next one is a A minor start with an A skip one to C skip the D go to, uh, go to an E that's your A minor you can do this or you can do or that's an A minor and the next one is a B minor. As long as you're tapping B, D, and F sharp, you got yourself a B minor. The next one is a C major chord. So any pattern is okay. D major chord. And then an E minor. And then a very rare F sharp minor 5 chord. It even sounds kind of strange. So that chord you're not going to use very often in your scale. Okay, so those are the f seven major chords in this scale. Of course, you can do variations of a chord. A G chord, you can play a G major seven chord by adding the seventh note. So you count it like this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is the seventh note. 
So G chord plus a seventh note is a G major seven. Okay, A minor. Add the seventh note, A minor seven. B minor. B minor seven. C major. C major seven. D. D7. And so on. Okay? As long as you follow the, the concept of music, you can make all the chords you want. Okay? So I suggest you practice those chords with your left hand until you're comfortable doing them, even without looking and uh, without thinking. You can play them in the background. So that's your background music. And then concentrate with your right thumb to play the melody. So I hold it with my right hand and play it like this so I can actually walk and play at the same time. That's what I do every morning when I go to work. Okay, practice all the chords and you can play any song you want, like this. So, before I leave, I'm going to teach you how to change your scales. So if I don't want to use a major scale anymore, I can tap on Options, and then tap on Settings, and then tap on Scale Modes to change the scale. So I have a list of 20 scales here, 22 scales, you can choose any of them. So for example, a Chinese scale, right here. Tap on the Done button, and then Save, and then Exit. Now we're in the G Chinese scale. So it's a Chinese scale, so it's going to sound Chinese any way you play it, okay? So the scale really sets the sound of your, your song, okay? So if you choose a major scale, it's going to sound kind of natural. If you choose a minor scale, it's going to sound sad. If you choose a Chinese scale, it's going to sound Chinese, okay? So it's very important to get the concept of a, a scale. The scale sets all the chords. So depending on the scale, you get a certain set of chords, okay? So I hope this helped you... Uh, learn how to play my instrument and help you increase your knowledge about music theory. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I look forward to doing more videos and showing you how to play this song. But uh, with this program you can actually learn songs from other people. You just tap on options and then play and then download a song from the web. There he goes. Tap on the songs tab. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. The tutorials, news, profile, your mailbox. You can message other users on this uh, on this website. So if you go to songs, get a list of all the songs available. You can play them first. If you like it, download it. That's the play button. You can download it. And once you've downloaded it, you exit by tapping this little X here. And then practice your songs. Tap on that. And make sure you set the playback speed slower, like 0.5, half speed, so you can follow the green lights that will come on. So, uh, like this here, it's an amazing grace, one finger strum. So you go like this, and just follow the pattern, just follow the green lights. Stop it and save it. Save your practice drill. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this app. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.